Oh, that feels a bit better. Oh, huh. yes, brushes, a hairbrush, whatever. But this is a very clever one. It's a collapsible one. If I push that down, it disappears. But look at the way it comes up. You push it forward, like a series of matches and soldiers in the line, they all come up and then form a nice little angle like that and they all flip down again. Wonderful action, that, and disappear completely. So the theme is brushes, hairbrushes, toothbrushes, anything that's a bit novel that's got a very clever design to it. And that was one of my, I think, favourites of it. The very first one I came across about 50 years ago was this one here. Not this precise one, but exactly this, this, this uh, design. To open it, you merely pull out the lids, and to make the brush work, you turn it upside down and push the lid back in again. But down at the bottom, there's a tray, and each of the rows of brushes comes up. There you are, perfectly good working brush to brush your hair. To collapse it, you simply take it out, turn it upside down, and collapses, and the lid goes back on again. What a clever idea that is. Some of them, a bit simpler than that, was this one here, which was just a little scrubbing brush, I think it would be, or bath brush, or toenails or something. And it just opens and closes like that. It's got its own little pouch that it goes into. I like that. And a more exotic one was Hello Kitty, which I've only recently acquired which is a really a makeup for a lady. And when you push the base of the piece, oh, they all pop up like that as a brush and then goes back in again. Very clever stuff. Flapses. Then a number of toothbrushes I've come across. This one is a, well, it's a joke one. My friend of mine said, really, it should be a hairbrush. You should be using that on, on your hair. But it's supposed to be a, 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 an item for, for a pantomime, a giant toothbrush. Perhaps even more remarkable, but actually quite ergonomic, was a brush which I picked up in Japan originally, which brushes both sides of the tooth, so you don't have to go forwards and backwards or turn it round. As you're brushing each of the tooth in between, you have to brush both sides, front and back of the teeth. That's a clever idea. And a very, very nice folding brush, which I picked up a specialist toothbrush shop in Amsterdam. Look at this for an unfolding and refolding. Unfolds in that direction, there's a toothpick as well, and refolds that way. And there's a perfectly working toothbrush. What a simple but elegant idea. And when you finish using it, you merely collapse it. One in, two in, put it in your pocket, and you finish your wash. Sometimes I've come across toys which show brushes, and here's two particularly interesting examples of brushes. But the obvious one is actually a little rabbit who's carefully brushing the floor with a room, which is a treat. That's battery operated, so that's, that's wind up. This other one is battery operated, it's more subtle because you wouldn't think there's a brush involved in this, it's a little robot, but there is, there's a brush underneath. These are all slightly angled, these ones here, so that when you turn it on, there's a little motor inside. And it glides around in a very mysterious way, and sometimes the wheels here turn on, sometimes they don't. I've seen versions of literally science kits where they have literally a hairbrush and a motor on top and that's it. An eccentric weight and it'll then start gliding. Isn't that strange? So brushes come in all sorts of types, but I have to say, as a person from my generation who never throws brushes away, these are brushes which aren't novel at all. They're brushes I actually use at home, but it emphasizes the point that some people just love holding onto things until the end of their life. So this one, for instance, I use for scrubbing pots and pans. It's getting pretty, yes, pretty worn out, but it's still usable. Why don't I use it? Even more extreme is one here, which is a nail brush, which I don't actually use for nails so much as for cuffs and collars when I'm, when I'm cleaning, before I take them to the laundrette. This I've had for almost 60 years, and look at the state of it now. Just a few bristles left, astonishing, but I can't bear to throw it away because it's still usable. There's a few it put me in mind of the ideal scenario, I suppose, which would be giving a child a, a hairbrush at the age of five, when they first learn to brush the hair, and at the end of their life, at the age of 98 and a half, there's one bristle left in the brush, one hair left in their orbit baldy head, and when they both fall out, huh, time to move on, I guess. That's what I call completion of brushes. What do you think?